All right guys, so we're here back again with Magnus. We just got to a park. Now this is a new location for him. And I'm just gonna show you how we do it. We're gonna jump right in. We've got some dogs across the way. We've got a lot of busy things with the park and some cars going by. So we're gonna see how he does. Hi handsome, how are you doing? <laughs> we kind of woke him up from a nap recently. So he's gonna need some time to gain his bearings. And it is a bit of a leap from the car. Hi. He can normally get out. You guys, he's gotten so much better with coming in and out of the car. Now, of course, we changed cars on him today. <laughs> and it's not going to be a very good car to let him jump down from it until he's a bit older. So I'm going to just let him down. Let him get used to everything. Hi, handsome. Gesundheit. And we're gonna let him stare and look and absorb and we're not gonna start moving right away. Instead, again, I'm just gonna start marking and reinforcing when he offers behavior to me. Very nice. So again, this is a new environment. I am using my clicker rather than my voice. I also like to use the word nice and I say it in a very specific tone to let him know we're training. Very good. Now the other thing you guys want to really watch out for is the black top when you're out in training, especially since it's starting to become summertime. This black top can get pretty hot. So it's actually pretty cool from what I can tell. It's not getting any hotter. It's doing pretty good over here. So this is a safe environment for him to be on at the moment. So we're just going to practice our loose leash walking. Again, this is not our formal loose leash walking. He has his harness on. When we're doing serious stuff, <laughs> we're going to put a collar on, which we've already started doing his formal training a bit back at home. Let's go. And we're just going to warm up here. He's doing pretty well. We were practicing at the park earlier today to get all of his sniffs out, and it's really important. Before you do sessions like this, let's go that your dog has a really tired sniffer. So we've got some people and some cars coming. Let's go this way. Good job. So you can tell he's doing pretty well at distractions over here. But I want to amp, amp it up a little bit. We've got some people coming by. Again, he adds pressure, he relieves it, and he looks at me. So this is actually a lot better than what he has been in the past. You can see how much of a big step we've gotten since the last time we filmed with him. Because we weren't even passing people before and now you can see just how close they're coming by. Is he still pulling towards them? Yes. Again, I'm not really worried about that right now. He's just in his harness. All right, <laughs> good job. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. He's doing real good. He's not walking on my left anymore. And we're just gonna start making our way a little bit closer to this dog park over here because I wanna start amping up some of the distractions and see how he performs. So let's go. Now you might have seen that he didn't respond to that click. You also will notice that we are much closer to all these distractions. So that lets me know, that is very valuable feedback. Trainer, no, if they don't respond to those clicks. Nice. So he gave me some eye contact. He's not totally out of whack right now. He's watching the dog play over there. This is exactly what I wanted. Nice job. So he's actually offering a lot of good eye contact right now. And that's all I want. Watch the dogs play from a distance, focus back on me. And again, this is a brand new, he's never experienced this before. You are watching this full time, first time, how to respond and how to build up distractions with a young puppy. And I gotta tell you guys, like if you do it right from the start, you know, it's easy. Anybody can do this. All right, Magnus, let's go. Good job.
what's all that? What is all that? Nice job. What is all that? Good job. So it's really important for me to use a high rate of reinforcement when I'm introducing new distractions. We got cars whizzing by. We've got dogs barking, dogs playing. He's actually doing a really good job right now. Super proud of him. And every time he looks at me, I give him a treat. He's watching that dog run and play. Nice job. And even from this distance, you notice how long he was staring at this dog, so it might be a little hard for him even at this distance. Take that long staring as feedback. If your dog knows how to look at you when distractions are present, but not when a dog is present, that lets you know how difficult it is for your dog. There we go. So we're just gonna hang out here for a while. <laughs> he likes to lean in on people, which is super cute. I'm not gonna let, I'm gonna try to not let him interact with the environment too, too much. So this really isn't much of a structured training session. Again, if I had his Martin Guild collar, which I honestly, at this rate, he's doing so good. The next new place we visit, we could probably start doing more of the formal training with him with the Martingale collar, make sure it's nice and loose. I use the Martingale simply as a prevention tool to prevent them from sniffing and interacting with the environment. That's really important for a service dog not to do. <laughs> so uh, I do use that as a cue to let them know, hey, we're not gonna be sipping right now to make sure they're set up for success. And we're just gonna hang out here for a while. We're just gonna watch the dogs play a little bit. I'm not gonna allow them to sniff just yet. I do have a separate cue to go and sniff and it's called go sniff <laughs> nice job so he's staring at a person walking in the parking lot and now he's looking at the dog running nice job let's go magnus let's go this way nice turn you guys remember last time his turn he went all the way to the end of the leash let's go and now he's kind of catching on to turn we have again we haven't worked on that formally magnus let's go like that that's what he was doing last time And we can set up some cones for that too to practice around our turns. Let's go. Magnus, let's go. Good job, good turn. You can see how, how slowly he's walking. He needs his afternoon nap, I would think. So we're gonna wrap this up real soon. Overall, I think this was a really good session. We're gonna go back to standing on our spot over here. Magnus, good job. Oh, I misclicked that time. And that's okay, it's not the end of the world, right? Nice job. Of course, you get faster results when you don't mis mix, <laughs> misclick. But 
he knows the game. Oh wow, look at all of these eye contacts. Did you guys notice the difference when we broke it up, gave him a break to focus on another task, and then came back here? Now of course the dog's out running right now, so I'm gonna start increasing my criteria just a little bit. See if he, do you, need, do you go to the bathroom? Do you need to hurry? I think he just wants, ah, there we go. Good hurry. Good boy. Nice job. Good boy. All right. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the car. Hi, let's go. And that's all we need.